Hey, who's there? Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. I think I might have had too much fun last... It's night. Okay. Just checking you're all right. Okay, Arthur. Hi. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, Life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. <laughs> Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that... Our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her, anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. Oh, get moving. You want that girl to die? It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Well, thank you. I swear half of you were just rotten your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappeared. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Come to think of it, no. Uh, that could be another problem. 
Well, he'd be a real fool to turn on us now. But I can't imagine he'd last too long on his own. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Come, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kind of... Oh. Ah! no good! Kill that son of a bitch! Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl! You back the hell off right now! They won't even recognize your car! You bastard! You're a dead man! You thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <sighs> Get after them! Here, straight ahead! I saw them go through those bushes! Oh, you're gonna pay! All of you! They're heading down the hill! To the water! Good shot! Oh, there they are, by the shoreline! So we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. Alright, let's go. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I said I shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Alright, here's your man. Bring him here. Drop him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this 
monster. So he's still alive then? Ah, I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll right. tall you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty-faced streak of piss! Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Morning. Morning, dear. I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own.
Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. Ah. How's this for moving? No damn manners. Have this. This what you want? <laughs> Bounty hunting bastard. Enough of your nonsense. Uh. I'll be running this shop long after you're gone. Just try to make friends, not enemies. All right, what do you want? Sure, don't go greasing up the pages, though. Come back tomorrow. Don't surprise me in Morning. the least. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. But, uh, what you doing here? Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. There's a, you know, there's a bunch of government Jack, agents I met asking about you all across there. town. Yeah, they they them and a bunch of her. bounty hunters, too, I think. Well, hell, uh, so, say. yeah. Yeah, but you don't seem too scared. Guess not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. Well, you better get out of here. <laughs> Careful, big man. I'm gonna regret this, but you can shop here. You so much as look at me funny, though. Oh, good. My favorite customer. Fine. Here.
Um, how do I put this? Hurry the hell up. Nice people around here. Yeah. Hey, wake up and get away. Mister? Mister? Hello, mister. How do you do, sir? Move already. You here to try this town's wine or women? Or just whatever's cheapest? Just minding my own business. You looking for a volley of musket fire? Just about done with you! <laughs> we can row down here in the morning. Had me, idiots. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, partner. You must need eyes in the back of your head. Anyway, I won't disturb you any longer. Bye, now. Yeah, it's been some time. Welcome back from partner. your journeys. Look at all that blood. How disgusting. What can I get for you? I'll have a fried catfish, please. Hello. Give me another one. <laughs> Show me a fat down. I reckon it's you, son of a shot. Let's go, girl. You want dog pay? Move! Get back to work! Howdy, partner. Too sober to smile. Now that is a shame. Hello. Yeah. Partner. Now where was Okay, girl. Okay, then. Hey, friend. Hello. How was in town? 
Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have. But he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, man. That's that. Free at last. It's me. Good. You're back in one Easy now. Now, to be honest, and go where? This is all I got for now, and you all ain't so bad. Abigail. It's a nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes, lovely, isn't it? Ah, uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yes, see you later. If I offended anyone last night, I make no apologies for it. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. <laughs> You're all talk. <laughs> you keep thinking that. I know your type. Your stuff unloaded. 
Thank you. I put you in one of the upstairs bedrooms. I thought that would be a little nicer for you. I mean, the place is a dump, but we can survive here. Yes, it's, uh, it's great if you love alligators and mosquitoes. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, it's left at the top of the stairs and head on to the end of the landing. Thank you. John? Oh, gotta stay away from that whiskey. See? We can be nice to each other. I guess. You ain't so bad. Sounds good. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. You recovered? I'll be fine. Thank you, Arthur. Of course. Just glad you're okay. Well, I should get back to it. Sure. Look at you. You got such a chip on your shoulder, don't you? Toughest <laughs> flower in the bunch. You think you're really something, <laughs> don't you? But we both know underneath. You're I'm done hell. with this now. Uh, it stinks a coward right around here. You wait. Making sure. Sure. <clears throat> Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend? I've been wanting to ask you something. I've been wanting to for days. Okay. What is it? I, I can't remember. Oh, this frightful curse. I've ruined my life with it. Then stop doing it. Oh, no, sir. I can't do that. Really. I can't. Bye now.
intending to do any work, miss? Oh, Miss Grimshaw, the Desert Rose. You know, my dear, some people say you're an old crow. But I tell them that's nonsense. I tell them you just keep one in oh. your ear. Oh, you animal. <laughs> 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 what, you just keep crows up your sleeve? That's for me to know, dear boy. There she is. All good? You look well. Thank you, Arthur. Who wants to play some poker? Why not? My mama taught me how to play this. One of these days, I want to try my hand at liar's dice. Not that I'm saying I'm a liar. Good. I'll call. I'll call, then. Hmm. Check. I'll check. Sorry, but time to take things Long up. Long way to go on a whole hmm. heap of nothing. Yep. I'll check. I'll check. I better go all in. Ooh, that's gonna feel good in my pocket. Okay, here you go. How's this look? Ah, oh, no way. Marston. Arthur. Pearson. Hello. Two I had was pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. You okay, Charles? Yeah. You did good getting the boy back. All in the past now. Careful now, Lenny. Lenny. Hi there. You got a good head on your shoulders. I do? And that's half the battle in this line of work. All right, off. Hello, Lenny. Miss Jackson. Mr. Pearson. Oh, hello. Arthur. Charles? You busy? No. Why? Fella sold me these plans. Oh, what do you gotta ask him for, Charles? Me? He's just gonna make a big drama out of it. You know he will. Drama out of what? <laughs> Only the easiest little bank score ever got taken. Well, I don't like robbing banks now. You like complaining and whining. We never robbed that bank in Rhodes. Arthur's good. He's the best man we got. And this is easy. But he complains a lot. <sighs> what is it? Turns out there's a big weakness in the building. They replaced a window to improve security. But the bricks are real weak. So? <laughs> the vault's right behind. The fellow sold me the plans, told me all about it. It's an open secret in town. Due to be fixed any day, apparently. And we got enough explosives? I don't think so. 
Well, then, what are we waiting for? Come on. Well, just no wine in there, Arthur Morgan. Oh, shut up. I'll make you wine. <clears throat> Give me this. them britches. Let's go. Can you just ride with me? Whoa. It's been a while since I robbed the bank. Hey, I'm looking forward to this. You ever robbed a bank? Of course I have. And what about that one up near Canada with you and Bill a couple of years ago? You was the lookout. And not a very good one, if I remember right. Can you believe this, Charles? I'm staying out of it. Try not to get us trapped in a burning... 